Motor Week Illustrated is brought to you by Suzuki Motorcycles and ATVs. Suzuki, the ride you've been waiting for. And by Bush Beer, the beer with the taste as smooth as its name. Hello, everyone, and welcome to what was supposed to be our first regularly scheduled Monday night airing of Motor Week Illustrated. I'm Dave Despain. You've already figured it out. We were pushed out of that 7.30 Eastern time slot because of baseball opening day. We're now told that next week will be our first 7.30 airing. That's 4.30 on the West Coast. I'm holding my breath. We're going to begin today with Mike Waltrip's miraculous escape from death. It happened during Saturday's Bush Grand National Race at Bristol, Tennessee. It is one of those incidents you have to see to believe. Now, the stage was set with some preliminary bumping and banging. Kyle Petty turned Tommy Houston around, and Houston, a two-time winner on the tour, went into the wall. As they regrouped for the restart, Tommy let Kyle know he wasn't very happy about all that. But now watch this. Kyle mixing it up with his old pal Mike Waltrip, and one lap later, Michael smashed head-on into the backstretch crossover gate. The car totally disintegrates right before the eyes of Michael's horrified big brother. I was standing looking right at it, and, and I couldn't move. I mean, I just froze. I, I never seen anything like that in my life. Uh, the car just disintegrated, and I knew he was in it. And I, I thought he was, I thought he was hurt. But I walked up there, and the car is gone. Everything's gone, and the roll cage is all bowed up. My, I looked at him. He looked up at me and winked. So, mom, dad. He's a Walter. He, he's got a pretty hard head. <laughs> now the next day, Michael told us that he'd left the track wondering what all the fuss was about. I didn't realize when I left here the significance of the wreck. Uh, in fact, I asked my car owner, Chuck Ryder, I said, do you think we can fix that thing, you know, and get her ready to, to run again? And uh, I said, because I didn't hit nothing with the back. I just hit with the front. And uh, he said, no, I don't believe we can fix it. And when I saw it on TV last night, I know why uh, everybody was so scared. It, it scared me. And... Uh, you know, I just think the Lord spared me for some reason. Now, when the racing resumed, L.D. Ottinger and Red and Dale Jarrett, both fighting winless streaks, threw all they had at each other, including their cars. Trading the lead, the two exchanged sponsor colors, but stayed on course. Great display of car control on a slippery track. Ottinger gets lucky then. He's in the lead when Mark Martin tangles with rookie Joe Nemitz. guys about catching. Do you enjoy that kind of thing? I really do. It's, it's a great experience for me.